The overall crypto markets are still pulling back as we have just received some massive news for Ethereum and then we're going to have the Ethereum ETF here coming shortly and I'm going to be providing information on why that is. And so before we get started here, I would like to mention there is a link underneath the video to Weeks. Right now, they are doing an airdrop for their WXT token. So just by signing up with an email, you can receive up to 500 WXT tokens, which could be worth up to $50 at the time of the airdrop. And so definitely make sure to check that out. There is no KYC required and it is very simple to do. And so we can see here that consensus is suing the SEC to defend the Ethereum ecosystem. And so they were suing the SEC here on April 25th. And they wanted to make sure that they're preserving the access to the Ethereum blockchain and by extension, permissionless innovation. And so consensus here believes that Ethereum and cryptocurrencies are very powerful and are going to have a huge impact on the future. And so they sued the SEC for two different reasons, believing that the SEC should not be able to expand its jurisdiction to include regulating the future of internet. And for number two, the SEC's reckless approach is bringing chaos to developers, market participants, institutions, and nations who are building or are already managing critical systems running on Ethereum. And so if we go ahead and take a look at the news here, we can see Ethereum survives the SEC. And so the SEC has notified them that they are closing the case of its investigation into Ethereum 2.0. And so they are not going to continue with the lawsuit from consensus. They have dropped the case. This means that the SEC will not bring charges alleging that sales of Ethereum are securities transactions. And so this is very big news for Ethereum. This is also very big news for many altcoins as well as Ethereum transactions are not considered securities. And so this is very bullish for Ethereum, I personally believe, as we all, all know as well. The Ethereum ETF has been approved a couple of weeks ago and they are working on updated S1s. And so those are still coming in here. We have an updated form S1 that came in from Bitwise here. And so we also have news here as well that the Ethereum ETF issuers are working to address reasonable comments from the SEC by Friday. And so Friday is the upcoming deadline for those um, updates from the issuers of the ETF. And so we can see here that Ethereum ETF issuers are responding, responding to comments received by the SEC last week according to two sources. And so the sources describe the comments as light and reasonable. And so this sounds like it is going through, right? Once all the S1s are filed and agreed upon by the SEC, that is when the Ethereum ETF will go live. And so they do have a deadline coming up here on Friday. And so we could possibly see these being approved early next week. And so this is definitely something to be paying attention to. And so in addition to the lawsuit being dropped by consensus. And so this is very bullish for cryptocurrencies. In addition to that, we also have uphold here ending support for USDT. And so this is something that I am personally paying attention to. I think this is something that could have a massive impact on the cryptocurrency space. Now, this could be the black swan event, right? There's a lot of bullish news out there. We see all this news with the Ethereum ETFs. We see the news with the lawsuit being dropped with Ethereum. Um, we're continuing to see accumulation in the uh, Bitcoin ETF. However, we still have USDT here. And so there's been uh, investigation on this since the beginning of the year by the SEC. And now we have uphold here ending support for USDT, right? Now, Tether is one of the largest stablecoins out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that quick here. We can see Tether here accounting for $113 billion um, of the market cap for stablecoins. Now, we have USDC, the next largest, at $32 billion, right? And so they account for a massive portion of the stablecoins out there. The total market cap of stablecoins is $162 billion, and Tether is accounting for $112 billion of that. And so... If something comes out that they are not holding one to one with their stable coin to the US dollar and is not pegged, right, or they're not able to prove that they have that one to one, we could see a huge uh, capitulation event with USDT, which would have a huge drop in the cryptocurrency markets. Now, I personally would use that as a buying opportunity, as I think a lot of coins would bounce back. However, this is something to keep in the back of your mind. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at USDC here. USDC is one of the cryptocurrencies that Uphold is still listing on their platform. They have removed many other stable coins, including Tether. However, USDC here is still going to be listed on Uphold. Now, this is a fully backed digital dollar built for rapid global payments and 24-7 financial markets. And so USDC is a regulated digital currency that can always be redeemed one-to-one -one for US dollars. And so that definitely says something about USDC. Now, in addition to that, we have Circle that is working with BlackRock, 
right? And so they're working with their tokenized fund shares for USDC. Now, if BlackRock chose to work with USDC instead of Tether, that definitely says something as well, right? Um, maybe BlackRock does not trust Tether, and so that is why they are working with Circle here. And so in addition to that, we also have Ripple that has just launched their own stablecoin as well, which is going to be RLUSD. Now, they have not said when this is going to be going live. However, we do have Mika regulations in Europe going live at the end of the month. And so that's maybe when we'll see an announcement here from Ripple as well. And that is why Uphold is removing USDT and other stable coins ahead of Mika. And so they're making sure that they're meeting the regulatory standards. And they're not the only cryptocurrency exchange that is doing that. Right, Binance, one of the largest exchanges out there, recently announced similar measures to comply with Mika, including a sell-only policy for unauthorized stablecoins. We have OKX and Kraken also adjusting their offerings in response to the new European Union regulations. Kraken here is also taking a look at that, right? And so we're starting to see some regulatory standards coming into place, and a lot of these exchanges are adapting to that. And I think this is going to be very positive for the space. However, this is also going to bring about the bad um, players in the space. And so if USDT is not holding a one-to-one -one stablecoin with Tether, that could be a huge issue and that could be a black swan co event coming up. And so that is definitely something to keep in mind as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. And make sure to check out that link underneath the video two weeks if you're interested in claiming that 500 WXT tokens, which could be worth $50 just by signing up. There is no KYC required. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.